Hi, this is Victoria Perlas and welcome to Silver Train. Welcome to our Silver Nugget series where we are going to talk to different experts and learn about their respective fields. Today, we are joined by a lovely guest, Miss Jam Noblesada Favis. Here she is. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Jam. Hi. Thanks for being yeah. with us today. Yeah, of course. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Train. Yes. And we are going to be talking about leadership. Jam, by the way, is unit manager at Crew Life and she is a certified wealth planner. So let's begin. Okay. Okay. So can you tell us, Jam, how long you've been doing this role at Crew Life? All right. Okay. So I've been doing this via for uh, four years already, turning four years. Now this uh, July, we got promoted as a team. Wow. Um, for four years back, so it's been it's been fun, you no know, managing forty really you know unique individuals That's a in big the team. team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all sorts of personalities, and you know they also have their day jobs. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, lawyers in the team. We have um, from the BPO sector business people. So uh, it's a very you know unique set of individuals that I also. Manage. So I wanted to ask, how did you find yourself in this in this role? Ah, all right. So I started first as a, an advisor. So that's uh, it's a natural progression. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went into financial advisory, I started first as a part time, my part time work. No, and then eventually I jumped ship from my corporate job because I really enjoyed the work that we do, we get to change lives, we get to talk to all sorts of people. And then it, was, it just became like a natural thing you know, to to replicate myself, right. to, to train people. I love training like you guys. Yeah. So I, I love, you know, just being able to download you know, my experience and see my fellow, you know, advisors grow into their roles as well. So there. And it's very fulfilling to, to just see them um, improve. Um, yeah, I can a, see that as we talk about them. Yeah, like I can talk about it all day. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I, I want to know a bit more about your leadership style. Leadership style, yeah. right? Actually, that's a very tough question because I think it's ever-evolving, mm -hmm. you know, um, being a leader. But I, me, perhaps, no, I'm a very collaborative uh, leader, no. Uh, I think what is what they call transformational. I try to be, yeah. right? Because most especially uh, in this industry, you deal with um, different uh, uh, types of teammates. No, of course you don't want to manage personalities, right? You just want to really focus on what their personal goals are. No? So there's a lot of coaching. No, mm -hmm. I, I really believe in you know coaching, getting to know what their motivations are. Um, I, uh, I I'd want to be more authoritative, but I'm not really that kind of I know a leader, no. So we just really have some set set of codes that we follow uh, in this industry, and then you know, um, talk talking to them, uh, most especially during the pandemic. There's a lot of really one on one mm -hmm. catch. We call it catch up sessions that Is we that do weekly. Yeah. Um, I try to week because there's a lot, diba? right? So I try to no uh, weekly. Yeah, I carve time. <laughs> na there's in my in, in my calendar. There's really a, a mentoring coaching session where we we just really um, talk about it's a CU session, catch up session. We talk about uh, how they are, where where they are with their goals. Yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting. I, I just want to point out to our viewers that you mentioned that you wish you were a more authoritative <laughs> type of leader. Because I feel that this is actually a pretty old school way of doing things. Mm -hmm. And I think your style today of being more collaborative can take you so much further. I Yeah, I think so too. Because, you know, we were brought up in that sense that uh, a manager is the boss, mm -hmm. you know. But um, when... And then I'd like to talk about it further. Nana. When, mm -hmm. you be when you become a leader, you, you really reflect on what what type of person you are yeah. and you know you get good leaders do yeah um and uh, you know I, I reflected and 
and that's not my personality. So I just really embrace who I am. So I, I like interacting. I like getting to know a person better. Um, and I, I feel like all of my teammates have a story to share. And then that's where uh, I, I really establish our connection. And I feel I'm more effective that way. Totally. I totally That totally resonates with me. Um, looking back to the the bosses that I personally had when I was still in the corporate world, mm -hmm. the ones that were really inspirational to me and that left a mark on, on my being were the ones that, that you are, are aspiring to be yeah. and the way that you talk about getting to know your teammates because mm -hmm. they feel their, their value to you. Yes. Yeah. And most especially nowadays, like, uh, my teammates are, you know, Gen Zs and yes, millennials. I can't imagine. Yeah, they're, they're so, <laughs> they also crave for that, you yeah. know, uh, um, connection, engagement. So it's that's why it's quite tough during the pandemic, no? Because before we'd really go out, we'd go on, um, you know, dinners and really, because it's really different, no, interacting with, with each other, you know, personally. So that's why it, it was quite challenging totally. uh, back then. So how how big a role do you think maturity plays in terms of how you are as a leader and what inspires you to be a leader? So that's two questions. Right. Maturity, it's it's very important. Yeah, because um, it's it's challenging to be a leader and the, and to also lead yourself. Right. Right. Self leadership is so. Can you so, talk a bit more about self leadership self for leader, people that are hearing it? For all the right. First so time? self leadership, it's just really you know, um, going back to your values, right? And really practicing it and knowing yourself, you know, because I, I feel like it's really very important. And it comes with maturity, mm -hmm. you know, really knowing yourself, what type of leader you are, really caring for for what your values are, caring for yourself, and I think it it drives you to become a better leader if you want to to really improve mm -hmm. and lead yourself better so that's why i'm very thankful with all my experiences prior to being because it was tough you know um getting promoted here in this industry there, yeah. there are times that i had to cry because it was my team who really pushed me i think you can already lead the team it's like yeah i'm crying oh, yeah. thanks for helping me so there's a and lot crying of... isn't <laughs> negative yeah crying is healthy <laughs> yeah so that's why that's why I, I knew i really wanted it yeah because it was you know really take it all on me i wanted to to really uh lead my team to have to have um our own values of course as a team etc so um, but, had a vision. Yeah. So, but, uh, there's a lot of you know mental toughness that that needed to be had then. No? But I I'm glad I had a good support system as well. My teammates and my family. You know my my boyfriend then now my husband. Yeah. So he knew what I had to go through. You know um to 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 get to uh to my leadership role. But. You know what, Sigurab, one, what, one thing I'd like to emphasize, no, we're all leaders in our own right. No, You don't need that label. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that it, it took a while for me to, to get promoted, to have my own team, to be a manager, because along the way, that's where I learned. Right. No, you just really need to you be surrounded with people who will remind you that the waiting time, the waiting and the, all the challenges, it's really part of um, growing into into be, before the the role will be given to you, right. you need that that um, story and the journey, the leadership. Totally. So that's that's a really good lead into my next question, yes. which is, what inspires you to be a better leader? To be a better leader, really growing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also like growing, yeah, like a plant, <laughs> like my my ears <laughs> to bloom. Right? Yeah. Um, that's why I always tell the team, no, every year you just need to grow. No, but I mean, maybe. Um, Are there ways in which you measure or track their growth? Ah, all right. With us, because Shepard, it's easy because it's very, you know. Um, um, production wise, eh? you'd see if you're really growing. If you're, um, of course, if you have more more lives that you've insured, right? If you've insured uh, twenty last year, maybe you should have. You, sh you can go for thirty lives this year, mm -hmm. something like that. So, and of course, you you. I'd also ask them. Do you feel like you've 
um, grown mm -hmm. for the the past year or the when you started here with Gru. Yeah. So all for growth, I think um, I want to become a better leader because I'm the catalyst for for change. Yeah, really. I I don't know if you've heard of the law of the lid um, by John Maxwell. That, I've heard of John Maxwell. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so as a leader, you you set the lid of the effectiveness of the team. Right. So, so if, like the bar. Yeah. yeah. So of course you become a good role model. So if you're just eyeing for personal success, it's very limiting. Right. So that's why I really want to push myself to to be a good role model, to mm -hmm. really give a a good vision. You know? So some some of my teammates of course when they start, they don't see their potential yet. Okay. Right? So of course you you process it with them. Mm -hmm. right? Sometimes with me that's what happened. Eh? I didn't really see myself as a leader, you no? Know? So my lid was really limited. Right. And then someone so uh, my mentor told me, you know, um she kept just calling me manager. You know, but right. oh, I don't know. I had that um, leadership potential. No? So I, I feel like oh, as well with my teammates, so they need uh, someone to really um, give them that vision no? and uh, really point out their potential and help them. That's, that's so wonderful. It sounds really inspirational and aspirational as well. Yes. With what you've shared about how you look after the people in your team. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the mentors I've had as well. I feel the, uh, they're very instrumental with with my maturity you know, mm -hmm. as a leader. I'm still, of course, growing. I have lots to learn. Right, we all right? do. Yeah, we all do. <laughs> Even as moms, right? Yeah. When, you, when you get into Most a role. Especially as moms. Because <laughs> when you get into that role, no, oh, you're a mom. You don't know how to act like a mom no, as a leader. You don't know how to act really as a leader. No? So you, you grow and you know, with the help of your, your mentors. Yeah, uh, I wanted to to point out to to our viewers in a previous video we had talked about compassion fatigue and how it also impacts those in leadership roles yeah. so i wanted to to throw that out to you how do you handle yeah. compassion fatigue yes thanks for uh, for asking that because you know we have this notion that leaders have no emotions that they can they have you know they can um, they, they're so strong, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's most especially now, no. Um, I experience that a lot mm -hmm. because, of course, no. You need to always be mentally, you know, the strong for for your for your team, no. And really, you know, be compassionate and really level with them where they are. No? So I, I get tired also, no. Right. I get that fatigue, no. But self care is very important, though. No? As moms, you need self care. Totally, totally. Self love. <laughs> self love, right? Because no? we met with through our kids. Eh? That's True. Why. <laughs> Ayan, so self love and just not being hard on yourself. Yeah, I feel like uh, that's for me. That's why my gauge is as long as I'm growing, I'm I'm learning something new every day. Right. Um, it it it, it starts with that. No, because I feel like um, we try to to be everything all at once as well. Like even for the team, being compassionate with them, but you also need kind to kind of our curse as women. I think. I think so yeah. too. Right. And yeah. we give so much of ourselves. So ako, I just really. You know, if I need a break, I'm glad that I'm in a career that I can do that. Right. If I need a break, I, I go out have coffee with myself. Right. And then just, I think we That's need great. that. laugh, but it's great. <laughs> Some do not have this luxury. Yeah, and then you get a massage at the, during lunchtime, yeah. you know. And then after, well, okay. Because you can't give what you don't have. Yes. I, the, you, your, your cup needs to be filled and oh, it should overflow and then the overflow that's what you give to your to your teammates okay. their their loved ones yeah. and if it's an so not at, at its optim optimal um failing it's it's hard yeah you gotta put in fuel in your tank correct yeah she got it right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way i Hard relate to the moms out there, raise your hands. Especially you hustling moms with several yeah. hustles. Mompreneurs. Yes. Mompreneurs. Totally. Yes. Hashtag mompreneur. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, that's those insights are really. But sometimes it's it's easy to say, right? Yeah. But to put into practice, there's no judgment, by the way, for those that are struggling to incorporate more self love and self care. Yeah. This is really just a a space for us mm -hmm. to to remind others out there that you know reach out and say hey i need a reminder or something right. that i'm i'm looking the way i'm looking right <laughs> yeah or just to get, just you know have like a lipstick sometimes on for the yes, day so or some color. turn on like I, I see candles i'm just turning on like yeah. <laughs> see, i'm just turning on <laughs> turning <laughs> that is for another episode <laughs> halloween <laughs> no but i know what you mean um so I wanted to to go into what advice would you have for people that think I, I'd like to be a leader but I'm not sure that I have oh, what yeah. it takes. All right, okay. Yeah. So I mean, you would know because you went through the motions. Right. Yeah. But you, you know, thinking about it that you want to be a leader, that's a step yeah. already. I mean, you you believe in yourself, and if I don't, I, I I you just don't know how to get there. Right. Or maybe. You're not yet in the believing in yourself stage. You're more in the curiosity, curiosity stage. stage. Yeah. So, um, fuel that curiosity. You know, talk to people that you admire. Mm -hmm. So that's one step. Because like, sometimes, no, we feel like, okay, maybe I'd want to, for for example, get into that leadership role, and mm -hmm. then me, you'd want to research first. Because so you'll be working towards something. And parang, at the end of the day, you need to find someone that you really a role that you really, you know, love uh, to do. So cult cultivate that. Yeah. You know, expose yourself. If, for example, um, your boss needs um, someone to to do the, a, a particular task, you know, to just really volunteer for right. it. Right. Be proactive. Be proactive. Yeah, that's the the correct term. Just really um, put yourself out there. Maybe you know, um, watch leadership videos. You know, um, you know, and that's it. No, for me, because it, it it just really started with that. No, parang um, be the best in in whatever season you are in. Yeah, because like you're, the ba, you're just really naturally gonna progress. Yeah, right. It, embrace it. Because no, sometimes we're so, I know, eh, uh, looking towards no what what's next, what's next. You're yeah, not, there's that fixation. Right, you yeah. haven't even mastered. You know the role, like um, for example, with us, no. So in order to be a good leader, you need to be a good advisor first. Because mm. what are you gonna teach? Can you um, be more specific as to what a good advisor means in the in our life industry, world, right? yeah, in, in Peru, no? So of course you need to to be able to master consultative selling. Okay. No, get uh, how asking the right questions with your clients, having a good system, mm -hmm. no, um, after sales, uh, uh, client service, yeah. servicing, etc. Um, and really uh, mastering the craft. You know? So once you've done that, then it's easier to really replicate yourself, to, to you know, um, teach, teach your... Uh, Wait, replicating things. yourself, because like, it's it's something I wish that I have been literally able to do. <laughs> Can you explain what you mean more by replicating yourself? Ah, all right. Is okay. It more the skills transfer. Yeah, skills tra transferring the skills to your to your teammates. Mm -hmm. no? um, how will you teach them how to do the the right way to consult a client if you haven't really mastered it yourself? Okay. Because they really look up to you. Yeah. So, um, be be the um do excellent work first no? for those aspiring to the really go with uh go for leadership roles okay so, so how can people get in touch with you if they want to learn more about crew life, crew life okay. and how they can get insured all right okay no, so and if they also want to to do what we do no they right. can um visit my personal page no i my my uh i think my name is flash canina yes. and then we also have uh our group's fb page which is which is the advisor diaries okay. so um, they can get to know uh, some of our teammates there if they want to. So the advisor diaries yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. No, so if they uh, have uh, any concern in particular, no, we can. The, uh, one of our teammates can um, address it okay. and then have uh, a session with them. Okay. Perfect. And 
We're about to close the session. Is there any quotation that you would like to to, to leave us with to All inspire right. us on okay. leadership? Okay, um, leadership. And this is my personal quote. Okay. <laughs> That's a good no, um, way to, to really capture what we do as leaders and even as advisors. No? Change your life life while changing lives. Right. That sounds really powerful. Yeah. No? So, uh, I'm, I'm just, you know... Uh, Said by the... By the... <laughs> Jam no bless Anna. <laughs> Let's not forget. <laughs> your life while changing lives right. no? so as a leader no you, you really um get to change uh, uh, with um, being a unit manager here it really changed me you know but with maturity with like really um uh, dealing did, with did you learn things about yourself i you... did yeah, yeah i really did like what type of leader i am how um what my, what my strengths and weaknesses are uh, it, it really helped, no. Um, and of course, uh, being an advisor really uh, gave me um, a different meaning with work-life balance and really being productive mm -hmm. um, with with my time. So it really changed my life. Um, but at the same time, um, being a leader, you get to change you know, other people's lives as well. Yes, so totally. If, if they're really, uh, if it's if it's so nice to see people, you know, lighting up when they do when they do this. You no, know, they don't feel like it's working because it, sometimes you just really converse you know, with with your clients and get to know them better mm -hmm. um and of course the lives that we get to change when um empowering them with their because we, we also offer investments mm -hmm. right and when they see oh my investments are coming up or like um when they get a claim that really helped them yeah you no know, um really sustaining their their lifestyle you know, it, it helped them recover as well so I, I guess with my career and my leadership role that's how I uh, you know uh, summarize it uh, with, with that quote yeah. <laughs> I love that <laughs> we we learned so much today from our chat thank you so much thank Jam. you Ruby. it was it's nice so enjoyable really yeah, I didn't expect to laugh so much <laughs> Talking about a pretty hefty topic, topic I think. Yeah. yeah. Because I think you just really, when you're, when you're a leader, you just really need to enjoy the journey. Totally. Yeah. Right? Because when as a leader, these are you know you're you're dealing with people. Mm -hmm. no? It's a, it's a, it's not a transactional thing, right? It should never be a yeah, transactional thing. True. Yeah. No? So oh, I just really, of course, there are challenges. My gosh, right? Because right. it's. Again, no people. No, you you deal with all sorts, but uh, at the end of the day, no, um, it's really a fun, fun role uh, to be in, and it's a privilege. Yeah, and it shows. It yeah. really shows. It it is something that I think it it's a testament to how you are committed to seeing others succeed. Yeah. And that's really lovely. Yeah. Thank you, Vi. And it's you nice so to much. reflect about it because when when you're in this, so uh, it's nice to just really sit on it and talk to you right. about it. And no? talk and talk to a uh, a person that shares similar ideals. Yeah. I think can can be so validating, right? Mm -hmm. um, you feel that you aren't alone on this sometimes lonely road. <laughs> That's right? true. Correct that's me if I'm true. Wrong. Yes. Mm. Being a leader, you have to make a lot of tough choices that people won't always understand. True. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Bea. you so much. Thank you. Thanks Yay. everybody for for watching. Thanks for having me. No, thank you. Thank Yay. you. And, and we will we will talk about more interesting things later on. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our content, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. This was really such a a great uh, silver nugget series mm -hmm. on leadership with with Miss Jam, and please let us know in the comments section down below who are the leaders that you look up to, and what leadership qualities do you value the most. 
Thanks for watching and keep going with Silver.